Hi, this is Priyanshu. In today's video, we are going to talk about our class 6 mathematics chapter 4 and this is the last exercise of our chapter 4 exercise 4.5. Okay, so in this video, I am going to explain this exercise to you and if you have any kinds of doubt regarding to this exercise, so don't worry about it. In the end of this video, you will have not a single doubt in this exercise. Okay, I will take this uh, something longer time to explain this to you. But I will explain each and every question with a basic point to you. Okay, so let's see the, our first question. So the first question is telling that draw a circle and name its center, radius, diameter and arc. Okay. So you know what is the first question it is telling? It is telling that you have to create a circle. Okay now, you have to draw a circle. Okay now, you first have to draw a circle, and after the drawing a circle, you have to find a center in this one. Radius you have to find. You have to find the diameter and the arc. So I hope you know about the circle, but you don't know about what is the center, what is the radius, what is the diameter, what is the arc. Okay now, if you know about it, then it is a very good. If you don't know about it so don't worry i will explain this one okay now center radius diameter arc okay now i will explain to you okay now let's first of all let's make a circle here okay now let's take a shape okay so this is a circle now okay i will take okay so let's suppose this is a circle okay uh, let's make it white and the boundary we have to make with the black color okay right so let's suppose this is a circle okay now this is a circle and now we have to point a center okay now this this is calling the center now this is center let's find a center in this one okay now we have to find a center okay i just wait a minute i will copy this one i will make uh, another circle also i will take for the understanding purpose okay now? So now let's talk about this one so in this one we have to find a center center means you see this circle is there now in this circle middle midpoint or you can say middle of the point is called a center center means middle point center means middle point so this circle is there this is the middle point again okay, this is a middle point of the circle this is called a center this point this middle point is called a center so you can write this middle point is the center this middle point is the center okay is it clear now let's talk about the radius what is the radius you know in the circle uh, let's I, I will erase this uh, to you for the after that you can write it again okay now what is the radius radius means you know whenever whenever this is a circle whenever a line is totally like that okay i, I just i use the scale okay now okay this is zero zero okay zero point something it's have to just take the zero degree okay this zero degree so in this line if like this this like that it is crossing like that okay here if you see this is the called radius this is called this line you know in the middle of the in the middle of the circle this line is called the radius okay this middle of the line that is called the radius and this middle of the point that is called the okay this middle of the point it is called the it's called the center and when the line passing straightly in this one that is called the diameter that is called the diameter that is called a diameter like that here this line this whole line is called diameter and this half of the point in the center it's the point of the center divide this line into two parts this point you know this red point divide this divide this one into two parts and this part is called radius and this also part is called radius okay now half of the circle you know if i tell you in the simple way half of the circle okay now this is a this is a center of the center of the circle half of this part if you see this part also otherwise if you look at this like if you see other part half of the part this half of the part is called the radius this half of the part is called radius so don't think this is also a radius this is radius but you have to erase this radius if you erase this radius then it is going to this part is also a radius after that if you radius will be like it also this is also a radius this is also a radius but you can choose 
only one radius if you choose if you do like no sir if you choose like another way if you choose this is a radius and this is radius so this full line segments become its full line become so this is become the diameter this whole in the middle of that one line if you cross that is the diameter you can you can uh, you can just draw the line straight like that otherwise if you draw line like that also that is the diameter and the half of this line that is called the radius and the center point of that line this is called the center okay now right i hope you will understand if you're not understanding then i will again i will make the, make this again to you and i will again explain to you so let's suppose uh, this is there now so i will take it okay just take it i will again i will explain this is a circle okay this is a circle in this circle half of the line if you put it like this half of the line if you put that is the radius that is the radius not radius this is a diameter this full line is called diameter okay now this is diameter okay now and diameter will be also like that or also it can be like that so this is the only diameter this is the only diameter okay now let's talk about diameter is clear right now let's talk about the center center means the hub middle point of the part this is the middle part this is called the center that is the called center that is the called center this is the middle part this is the middle part of the circle that is called the center okay now you understand okay now let's talk about the radius what is radius so half part half part of the from the center this is center now from center half part of the circle that is the radius so from circle if you take half part here otherwise you can choose half part here so that is the only radius this is the radius okay this is the radius half part if you choose from that side otherwise you can choose uh, half part like that here you can choose like that here you know this part this part half part you can choose this part from here to here not this one okay na? half part half part of the diameter this diameter is there na? this full of the diameter if you choose half part that is the half part this part that is the hour called the radius that is called the radius that is called the radius okay now that is the radius so this half part is radius this full part is diameter and this point is called center okay now arc arc means that a particular point like you have to put two points like point a and point if you do two points here and that is the only called arc that is the only called arc if you put two points like if you just put two points one point is here and one point here if you put and after that you give name a and b whatever it is and just join that line that is the only called arc okay now understand okay so now let's make one 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 again to you okay i hope you will understand if you understand then it's good otherwise i just uh, okay just put wait a minute okay i will erase this one okay just wait okay so now i just take one one example and i will explain to you now this is there now just put this one i put like that okay so now let's find the first of all circle this is a circle okay over it is now let's find out the center so this is the point middle of this this is called the center okay now you can write like this this is called the center okay now radius radius means this is a center of point half of the point this is called the radius this point is called radius you can write like this okay this is called radius okay now now diameter diameter is its full part this is the full part of the circle that is called this is the diameter you can write diameter okay now this is arc arc means just take two points point here one point here one point here you can choose in this in this circle you can choose anywhere the point okay now choose two points this is one this is point and just color that okay now and that is the only arc okay now i hope you will understand this one so generally this is the arc only this boundary you know this this boundary is called arc this boundary you know this round round boundary this is the only called arc okay na? is it clear to you right so the first question is totally completed here okay now let's move to the our second question so so now let's see the question number second so question number second is telling that said the reason 
in the circle okay we have to just color that one okay now this, if you are looking this figure we have to color this figure so the first question telling that sector sector with the red you know what is the sector whenever two radius are there now two radius half of the circle so that is the only radius so if you see this a and o is a half of the circle yes and here also it is given okay now o and b this is the sector this is called a sector and this reason we have to color this is only called sector here in this whole figure there is a only one sector that is the red okay we have to color with the red okay let's take it that is the only this reason okay now this reason only okay now this reason is there okay i colored with red one okay now actually you choose any other color also just to be the pencil only now okay this is the reason uh, this is you can shade with the this point okay now this is the only red color okay this is the only shade why because this is a sector okay first one it is clear now second is there now color with the yellow okay right let's do with the yellow uh, minus segment segment means like which have a straight points in the boundary here and here both are a straight point this is the our uh, segments okay this is the our line segments okay not line segments this is a minus segment so this is the only cross type okay we have to color this one that's over simply is it clear now so this figure is totally completed okay now now let's talk about the our third question okay so third question is that can true or false we can locate only one center in a circle what it is telling that we can locate only one center in a circle yeah it is true like suppose if i telling you if i if i told you like that if i just wait a minute okay now just this is a circle okay this is a circle let's suppose this is a circle okay in this circle you can put only one center now this is a one center you can put only one center otherwise you will say no sir this is a center this is a center this is a center no in this circle we can put only one center center is one that is the here okay so in the circle we can locate only one sector is it true or is it false so is it true we can create only one center okay now diameter is the twist of the radius yes this is a diameter this is the diameter is diameter is a twist of the radius yeah it is true because radius is the radius is the half of the diameter okay now you know this is a diameter and half of the diameter that is the radius if you find in this this is a diameter now if you want to be find the radius in diameter you have to take half part of the diameter it means that this part this is only half radius radius is always half of the diameter so it means that twist of the radius yes when two radius this is half radius this is half radius this board if you make the radius it become diameter it means that this is also true okay now now let's see the uh, second question an arc is a part of circle yes arc is a part of a circle you know this is a arc this is a point a and point b if you take this point a and point b is you just circle this is a part of circle only now this is a part of circle yes it is true arc is also part of circle all chord are equal to length no it is not let's suppose uh, if i tell you okay i will erase the point i will erase that one okay so i will erase it okay now let's talk about this one here it is okay okay now let's talk it is telling that arc is you know what is uh it is telling chord chord is equal to the length no let's suppose this is a one chord here okay this is one chord here and some other chord is here so the length is different let's suppose this is a two centimeter and this is become four centimeter length is different or not yes length is different so it means that this is calling all all chords are equal no here it is two centimeter here it is four centimeter it means that this statement is wrong so this is the false okay now all radius are not equal to the length of a circle this is also false why because radius is a equal to the length of the circle you know radius is a half part of the circle so this is a one you can do radius like that also otherwise if you want to be make a radius you can make half of this one okay now this is a diameter this is also diameter so you can radius choose here also you can choose radius here 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 anywhere we can choose radius but you have to choose half of the diameter only so all radius are not equal to the length of circle no this is false radius is the only main part of the uh, main part of the circle so this statement is also false here okay now all radius are not equal to the length of a circle it is false they are the equal to the part of the circle okay now it is false right is it clear 
now let's talk about the fourth one the fourth question is it very easy it is telling that take a circular sheet of the paper okay now we have to take the circular sheet okay now just take example this is a circular sheet let's suppose this is a circular sheet we have to take and four into two two uh, two helps press on the open it uh, now what we can do you just fold it two times so if you fold uh, this paper become like that okay i will just draw the picture I will, it's become like that and after it if you fold a uh, fold again then it become like that in this shape it will become okay nah? like that it will become like that in this shape if you fold if you fold one times it become like that okay if you fold two times it become like that okay now nah? in uh, in triangle shape so do you find the areas of the diameter respect the same activity by the changing the folder can the diameter of the absorb how many more diameter can be formed so build diameter how many diameter you can be formed like suppose if you are folding from this side from this side to this one if you fold this side to this one or if you fold this side to this one otherwise if you fold this side to this one you know the radius will be no change okay now radius will form many of the time okay so the answer of this question you know what is the answer of this question so the answer is that yes the the Increase the diameter by the changing of the fold. You can create infinitely, my infinitely many diameter. You after that one, you can create infinitely diameter. So how many diameter do you can absorb? So the question is asking, how many diameter you can absorb and how many diameter can be formed? So here you know, you can absorb the first question answer. This one, first one, you can absorb. Okay, now you can write here. You can absorb many diameter many diameter okay now diameter you can write like that or the second question is that how many more diameter can be formed we can form we can write we can form infinite infinite or you can write infinite infinite number of diameter infinite number number of diameter you know diameter you can write diameters okay so overall this exercise is totally completed here only whatever in this exercise everything is clear this chapter is totally completed in the next video we are going to solve our exercise uh, chapter 5 exercise 5.1 and if you have any kinds of doubt related to this exercise so you can just comment me differently i try to give the answer of your question differently i solve that and differently i will explain again to you that question okay so overall this video is totally completed and we will meet into the next video jai hind